Once upon a time, in a world not so different from ours, the wheel was invented, an early form of automation. It was a revolutionary moment that forever changed the course of human history. But let's keep in mind that automation is not a novel phenomenon. It has been an integral part of our evolution since the dawn of time. In fact, automation is woven into the very fabric of our existence. It's in the way we've cultivated the land, built our cities, and even how we've explored the cosmos. We've always sought ways to make our lives easier, more efficient, and ultimately more fulfilling. To truly understand the essence of automation, we can turn to the ancient Hindu mythology. Consider Vishwakarma, the divine engineer of the gods. It was said that he created the world using his tools and skills. This divine architect, with his ability to automate the creation of the universe, is an embodiment of the earliest form of automation. Just as Vishwakarma used his divine tools to shape the universe, we too have harnessed the power of tools and skills to shape our world. From the wheel to the loom, from the steam engine to the computer, our journey has been marked by an ongoing cycle of innovation and automation. This journey has not been without its challenges. With every new wave of automation, we've had to adapt and evolve. We've had to learn new skills and unlearn obsolete ones. We've had to reimagine our roles in an ever-changing landscape. But just as our ancestors embraced the wheel, we must embrace the dawn of a new era of automation. We are on the cusp of a revolution that is set to redefine our lives in ways we can't even begin to imagine. Our path is clear. It is not about resisting automation, but about understanding it, adapting to it, and ultimately leveraging it to our advantage. Like Vishwakarma, we too have harnessed the power of tools and skills to create our modern world. As powerful as Vishwakarma's creations were, they also brought fear and uncertainty. This sentiment resonates with many as we navigate the era of automation. In our world today, the creations of our own Vishwakarmas, the tech gurus and innovators, are changing the face of work as we know it. This shift, as significant as it is, has come with a fair share of trepidation. The fear that robots and artificial intelligence will replace human jobs is not unfounded. A study by the University of Oxford suggests that nearly half of all jobs could be automated within the next two decades. Industries like manufacturing, transportation and retail are the most at risk as their tasks are considered routine and predictable, prime targets for automation. Let's not forget the words of the great science fiction author Isaac Asimov. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. This quote echoes the worry that while we develop technologically at a breakneck speed, our ability to adapt socially and ethically lags behind. But is this fear entirely justified? The same Oxford study also points out that many new jobs will be created, particularly those requiring creative and social intelligence. As automation takes over mundane tasks, it frees up humans to focus on more complex, creative and empathetic roles. This is reminiscent of our ancient tale, where the gods, initially fearful of Vishwakarma's creations, eventually found ways to coexist, benefiting from the skills and efficiencies these creations brought. The fear of the unknown is a natural response, but history has shown that we are an adaptable species. We have always found ways to adjust and thrive amidst transformation, but just as the gods found ways to live with Vishwakarma's creations, so too can we find ways to live with automation. Remember, change is the only constant, and in the face of automation, we are not mere spectators, but active participants in shaping our destiny. The key is not to resist, but to adapt, evolve, and find ways to harness the power of automation for our advantage. In every myth, there is a twist, a silver lining, and so it is with automation. Allow me to illustrate the benefits of automation, which are as profound and transformative as the powerful tools of Vishwakarma, the divine architect in ancient Hindu mythology. The first and perhaps most evident advantage of automation is the dramatic increase in productivity and efficiency it brings. Much like Vishwakarma's divine tools that could operate without human intervention, automation today can perform tasks tirelessly without breaks or lapses in concentration, this boosts output rates and allows businesses to operate around the clock, leading to significant improvements in productivity. Now, let's consider the quality of work. Automation minimizes the risk of human error, resulting in a higher standard of accuracy and consistency. Just as the precision of Vishwakarma's tools was unmatched, 
automation guarantees a level of accuracy that is hard to achieve manually. This not only enhances the quality of products and services, but also increases customer satisfaction. But the real beauty of automation lies in its ability to liberate us from mundane, repetitive tasks. This allows us to focus on more creative and complex tasks that require human ingenuity, empathy and strategic thinking. It's akin to how Vishwakarma, freed from manual labour by his tools, could focus on designing the grand architecture of the universe. Moreover, automation can lead to cost savings in the long run. While the initial setup cost can be high, over time, the increased efficiency and productivity can result in significant savings. Like Vishwakarma's tools that were a one-time divine investment yielding eternal benefits, automation is an investment that pays off over time. And lastly, automation can enhance worker safety by performing dangerous tasks, thereby reducing the risk of workplace accidents. Just as Vishwakarma's tools could handle the perilous tasks of cosmic construction, automation today can handle hazardous tasks, ensuring our safety. As with Vishwakarma's tools, automation can be a force for good if we learn to harness it correctly. So let's not fear automation, but rather embrace it and explore the myriad opportunities it brings. In our tale, the gods had to adapt to the world Vishwakarma created and so must we adapt to a world of automation. Just as the ancient Hindu gods adapted to the intricate universe crafted by Vishwakarma, the divine architect, we too must evolve and refine our skills to flourish in the age of automation. This change is not a choice, but a necessity. In this automated world, the demand for technical skills is on the rise. However, alongside these, uniquely human skills such as creativity, emotional intelligence, leadership, and critical thinking are becoming increasingly valuable. These are the skills that machines, despite their sophisticated algorithms, have yet to master. We must leverage these innate human abilities to ensure our relevance in the automated world. Continuous learning is another crucial strategy to thrive in an automated world. It's about expanding our knowledge base, staying updated with the latest trends, and constantly honing our skills. As Alvin Toffler, the famed futurist, once said, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn. Adaptability too is key. Change is the only constant in life, and this holds true in the world of automation. We must learn to be flexible, to adapt quickly to new technologies and methods. Like a river that changes its course when it encounters an obstacle, we too must learn to navigate the changing landscapes of our careers. In the grand scheme of things, automation is not a foe, but a tool. It's a tool that can help us augment our capabilities and achieve greater efficiency. But to make the most of it, we must learn to adapt, just like the gods in our ancient tales. As we step into this automated world, remember this. We are not being replaced, we are being upgraded. And with the right skills and mindset, we can not only survive, but thrive in this new world. Like the gods of old, we too can learn to thrive in a world of automation. The gods did more than just adapt to Vishwakarma's world. They embraced it, and so must we embrace automation. In the grand design of our modern world, automation is much like Vishwakarma, the divine architect in ancient Hindu mythology. His creations were not meant to replace the gods, but to enhance their lives. Similarly, automation is not here to eliminate jobs, but to augment them, making them more efficient, more productive, and ultimately, more rewarding. Let's consider the realm of healthcare. Automation in this field has not replaced healthcare professionals, but has instead expanded their capabilities. Medical robots assist surgeons in performing complex procedures with unprecedented precision. Automated systems help pharmacists dispense the correct medication, reducing human error. These advancements have not taken away jobs, Instead, they have created new roles that require a blend of medical and technological expertise. In the realm of finance, automation has not only streamlined processes, but also opened up new career paths. Algorithmic trading, robo-advisors and automated risk assessment tools are just a few examples. These technologies require human oversight, creating roles for individuals who can understand both finance and technology. Let's not forget about the creative industries. Graphic design, video production and even writing have seen the introduction of automation.